This is a visual demonstration of how motion correction and co-registration work with fMRI data. Now pretend that this deck of cards represents a run of functional fMRI data, and each card represents an individual volume. Now, like a deck of cards, this run of images can get out of alignment due to motion, you know, head motion, drift, things like that. What realignment and motion correction does is it aligns all of these to be in roughly the same orientation. Just like you would straighten out a deck of cards to make them look ni nice and straight. Okay. So co-registration takes that one step further by using a few different images. What we want to do in co-registration is we want to co-register a T1 weighted anatomical image and T2 weighted epi or functional images. It's a similar idea to realignment and motion correction, it's just now we're applying it across two different modalities. So what SPM needs is it needs what's called a source image or something that's going to remain stationary for the other images to be aligned to. So usually you either use the functional image that was acquired closest in time to your anatomical image or you take a mean of all your functional images. In this case, let's assume that we take a mean epi or mean functional image. So this is our mean epi. And it is our source image. All right. Now we also need what's called a reference image or another modality that's going to be aligned to this mean epi. Usually that's going to be our anatomical image or our T1 weighted image. So we'll call this the anatomical and it will be the reference image. Okay. And the rest of these, this rest of this deck here, represents the rest of our run. So all these other functional images, so like epi 1, one volume of that functional run, epi 2, and so on. All right. Move these around. Okay, so first what we're going to do is we are going to co-register this anatomical image to this mean epi. So this anatomical image actually gets moved around and is aligned on top of this mean epi. Once that's done, these other epi images right here are aligned to this anatomical reference image. So I'm going to move this back here. Now this one has all the motion and transformation parameters that needs to be aligned and those are also going to be applied to these so that they are in alignment with the anatomical image. This is important for two reasons. First of all, it co-registers or aligns two different modalities, the T2 and the T1 weighted images. This is important because when we warp our images to a standardized space, that's also a two-step process. We'll warp this anatomical image to a template in, say, MNI or Tallyrack or any other standardized space, and we'll apply those same warps to these functional epi images. That's important because because these are directly in alignment with each other, the same warps apply to this anatomical image, which has a higher spatial resolution and usually has a better warping to this template space, will then be applied to these functional images. So that's a visual demonstration of how co-registration works and why it's important for normalization.